Hello YouTube, Camper here and welcome to my generic YouTube intro to another build video where you get to listen to my thick Asian accent for 8 minutes. Let's start. So starting from tomorrow, February 15th, all proc sets are disabled in Ceradil along with monster sets and mythic items. Cinemax has given us a handful of sets to work with for the next 3 weeks. So I logged into my game wheel and the shackle breaker sets I crafted in 2017 was like, hello motherfucker. So I made a stat based build on a stamina warden and named it stat Den. Fucking cringe. By the way, I didn't get enough time to test this build much, but I ran it against a couple of Malakad prop builds on open world zero deal and it held up okay. So let's move on to the build. We are wearing 6 heavy, 1 medium and as for the helm we are using heavy dummy house impenetrable piece and for the shoulders we are using swarm mother heavy and it's in reinforced strength. These two pieces alone will give us stamina and magicka equal to the shackle breakers 5th piece bonus and that's massive. And we are using shackle break on body all heavy armor pieces except for the belt where we use medium for the unwanted passive when it comes to the armor traits i have three of the large armor pieces as reinforced two well fitted and two impenetrable the next set we use is endurance we use one piece endurance jewelry and on the back bar we use endurance sword and bolt one hand weapon can be the powered or defensive and I recommend uh, power for extra healing power as all of our heals are on the back bar. Uh, shield can be the reinforced or impenetrable with a max stamina and chan. Uh, don't care about the glyphs because we are running this bad boy as poisons. Easy enough to get and very effective. And for the next set we run one agility ring and on the front bar uh, we use more of agility uh, with sharpened trait. You can use uh, non horned as well, uh, but sharpened would be the best in slot. Uh, so the basic idea of this setup is that uh, on the back bar we have endurance set active, uh, giving us 2000 extra HP and uh, 3000 health recovery. And on the front bar we have 2000 extra stamina and 200 weapon damage. I use the ring of the trainee on the remaining jewelry slot, giving us a nice boost to the max health. All my jewelry are infused. I use two weapon damage glyphs and one tri recovery glyph. And if you think you have enough sustain, feel free to go with the uh, three weapon damage glyphs. Now, taking a look at the stats on the back bar, I have 3k health recovery, 1.3k magical recovery, and almost 2k stamina recovery. And all these recovery stats are with tripods active. Taking a look at the health, I have 34k health on the back bar. Uh, in the video, I have a little bit over 36k health with the Emperor buff uh, and enough resistance to face stack a couple of potatoes. We have 2.7k crit resistance, which is very important because everyone will be uh, without Malakath and everyone will be critting a lot more during these 3 weeks. And on front bar I have 35k stamina and 3.3k weapon damage with the continuous buff. 3.3k uh, looks a little bit lacking uh, but trust me uh, with over 14k penetration and stamina to compensate our tooltips are definitely respectable. When it comes to race, I'm a Nord, uh, but Orc, Dark Elf, Khajiit, Imperial, any of the races would work. For the Mundestone, I use Steed and Arteum Takeaway Broth as the food buff. Uh, the stamina recovery definitely helps a lot here and that's why I use it over sugar skulls. And for the potions, I'd go with tripods any day of the week. And you can also use immovable potions, uh, but tripods uh, would overall perform better. 
and the skills uh, are pretty straightforward on the back bar we use ice fortress leaching vines and alternatively uh, you can use green lotus here for the boosting critical chance i'm actually still on the fence between these two skills uh, next we have Pierce armor between this and the 14k penetration we have we will be ignoring 23k of enemy resistances which is a huge damage boost Vigor is up a primary heal and arctic blast for those oh shit movements and a nice stun when you can align your burst with it as the back bar ultimate we use uh, sword and boat ulti and in non cp you can change arctic blast to soothing spores uh, which will be a better heal in non cp on the front bar we use niche shulks zing zing and executioner and of course uh, bird of prey which gives us a nice damage boost and don't break her as uh, the offensive ultimate for obvious reasons. CP setup is pretty straightforward, nothing much to discuss there. And if you are using green lotus in your skill bars, putting some CP points in uh, precise strikes will help boost damage. Alright everyone, this is it. Hopefully the build works for you and helps you in serial for the next couple of weeks. And if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And have fun doing PvP with extra performance lag. Adios. Must have been the wind.